Welcome once again to Callaway Park for another Western League Premier Division match this afternoon. It's Helston Athletic against the Travellers. Canes from town, they're travelling well on the road. No defeats from their five games so far. So team news today, just the one change for Helston after their Tuesday 3-2 win at Tavistock. Harrison Jewell comes in at right back for Reese Shanley. Craig Veal, who was absent on Tuesday, he does return, but uh, he has to start on the subs bench. We're now about to have a minute's silence in memory of Marlene Taylor, who sadly passed away earlier in the week. Marlene was the uh, wife of the club's kit man, and club stoic Jeff Taylor, our condolences go to Jeff and his family. Tucker now on the ball, coming inside, looking to have the shot, surely looking to have the shot, and yes, in the end it's not really a shot, it's a ball that's rolled into the back of the net. Just, uh, just over nine minutes on the clock, uh, Billy Tucker picked up possession on the edge of the box, came across the penalty area. We were expecting a shot at any moment, but then it's just a side-footed uh, rolling of the ball into the back of the net. Helston one, Canesham nil. To Josh Story, Ryan Beatty both come up for this kick. Towards that far post, Beatty's there with a header back across. Story with the shot. Oh, it's uh, somehow knocked away via the post still though Helston pushing forward that ball going all the way through Seth Lock collects but it was uh, Nathan Rendell who uh, well almost missed kicked the ball onto the uh, upright and uh, avoided Kane from going a further goal behind Jones with the throw he uh, uses uh, Helston nice bit of uh, control by uh, Kainstrom's top scorer, he's looking to have a shot here, he does, and uh, Radovanovic uh, fully stretched, uh, didn't get a touch to it, but uh, he had to cover it. Bowker outside, he goes inside to Cornish, Cornish has a little look over his shoulder, but takes them on. He takes them on uh, well, his, his effort just deflected onto the crossbar, Tucker though, still in possession, and that's too high over Bowker. Story to uh, Helsing's number four, Ryan Beatty. Long ball forward to Tucker. Little touch inside of Elliot. Elliot goes past uh, Saunders as if he's not there. The cross comes. Oh, a cross came in. Seth Locke got both hands to it, but comes off his hands and into the back of uh, Canesham's net. And the goalkeeper won't want to relive that one. It's uh, 26 minutes on the clock. Elliot. Well, what surely was a cross, but it turned out to be a goal. His, uh, his first one in the colours of Helston's blue. Oh, BT's ball forward, uh, easily cut out by Matt Brown. Aidy Harvey on the ball, slips it alongside to Steph Lee, and with his shot, it uh, came off a blue shirt, I think, but. Certainly, Steph Lee will take the credit and take that goal. 37 minutes played here at Callaway Park, and uh, well, it was perhaps loose defending, and it came with the result of a goal to the visitors. Steph Lee, it's uh, Helston 2, Canesham 1. Tyler does well to get the ball back. 1 2 with Bowker into the feet of Ryan Turner, and yes. That was the way uh, Helston wanted to go in at half-time for sure. Ryan Turner on the end of a pass by Elliot. Turner, that's his second of the season. And uh, Helston's third today 
after 42 minutes, Helston 3, Canesham 1. Mighty by the corner, it's under the crossbar, flicked out by, by Locke. Beatty flicked it back into the six-yard box and then his uh, partner at the back, Josh Storey, was up there just to, uh, well, outside of the foot, put it into the uh, the net and, uh, well, Helston will go in half-time more than happy. It's now Helston 4, Canesham 1. So off we go for the second half, Helston 4, Canesham 1. And uh, let's see what the half-time team talks have uh, done for either side. That's, well, what a way to start. Canesham get their second goal of the afternoon. It came from Nat Brown, beating Rad Radovanovic, sitting on the ground there wondering what's happened. It's uh, within, well, less than 25 seconds of the second half. Helston four, Canesham two. Free kick quickly taken, bow to Boker, Boker shot, oh hits the post then uh, goes across the face of the goal off a Canesham defender, off the back of a Canesham defender for a corner to Helston. Scott Saunders, oh no the keeper, dreadful mistake that uh, Boker surely will make the most of it. Eight minutes into the second half, the ball forward uh, to Turner. Seth Lock, the Canesham keeper, not making the best of possession. And at the end of it all, it fell to Stuart Bowker at that far post. Just really had to stroke it home. Bowker's uh, seventh goal of the season. It makes it Helston five, Canesham two. 12 minutes into the second half, Craig Veal. Three goals in three games so far this season since he signed for Helston, replacing Stuart Banker. Lead a take on Jewel. And inside to Helston. Helston comes inside of Beatty and he finds that far corner. That was on for the moment he stepped inside Ryan Beatty. So goals galore here this afternoon at Callaway Park. It's uh, 17 minutes into the second half. Will Helston with his 10th goal of the season. Helston 5, Canesham 3. Lock's kick. Well, comes off the shoulder of Jewel. Will Helston try and take advantage of this. He gets a shot in at goal. Story tries to hook it away. Sam Jones. Well, yes, roof the net. 32 minutes of play on this second half. And, uh, well, you have to say, poor defending by Helston there. Made it uh, a chance for Sam Jones. He hammered it into the roof of the net. Helston five, Kingsham four. Then uses Harvey. Kingsham got to three or four players in the Helston penalty area. They stay in there as this ball comes in from Saunders. Radovanovic is out, but well, it almost looked as if his clearance out came off. A.D. Harvey loops over everyone. And into the empty net of Helston. It's now Helston 5, Canesham 5, 88th minute. Buckby wins the ball in the air, but uh, Anstey clears for Canesham. And as Beatty heads the ball away, the referee points to the centre circle full time here at Callaway Park after what the, almost nine minutes of added on time. It's uh, finished an amazing scoreline after uh, what five goals in this second half. Uh, Matt Brown brought came from a little bit closer, just 25 seconds into the second half. Stuart Bowker made it 5-2 to Helston. It looked home and drive for the home side, but. Uh, Kingston came back well, goals from Helston.
Jones and Harvey made it an exciting scoreline, but not the result Helston would have wanted. Finished Helston 5, came from 5.